four hours of sleep. Let's do this. I'm at the airport now and I barely made it just in time. We're boarding. So. Folks, ready for B1 yeah, through 30 B. I am in Houston now. In just Houston, and I have hiccups. Oh my gosh. Finally in Houston. And I'm going to baggage claim. I hope. And Caitlin is picking me up. I can't wait to see her. I haven't seen her since June. Yay. always nice in theory but they don't ever really go right <laughs> uh, okay I just gotta wait for Caitlin to find me I don't know what's a good point this is terrifying I see her I see her I see her that's happening <laughs> Here's what happened. So, I had to wake up at like 4.50. I got like four hours of sleep. And then, so I slept like the whole way there. And then we got there and my mom parked at the wrong side of the airport. <laughs> I had to like run to the check-in. So by the time I like walked, ran, like walk, ran all the way like to the other side of the airport to check my bags, there were like 50 people in line. I was like, what are you doing? It's a seven in the morning on a Thursday. Or it was, no, it was like, like six, six something at this time. And it's like, why are there so many people? I was so annoyed. And so I had to check my bag and then we got to the security and there was like this big group all doing security at the same time. I was like, what are you, what are you doing? Move, Hi. move. And so I finally got through that and then I don't, I just like, ugh, I hate going through security. I didn't get pre-checked this time. So I had to actually go through security. That's <laughs> perfect. <laughs> we made a stop at Walmart to get one essential thing. Bluebell. Bluebell. I haven't had Bluebell. I don't even remember the last time I had a Bluebell. I haven't had I really it don't. since Sunday. That's the exit, Caitlin. Don't go oh. in that. Ice cream. <laughs> Where you at, Bluebell? We're looking for you. <gasps> look at look at it. It's so beautiful. It's wonderful. Oh, get it, Caitlin. Get the yeah. ice oh, cream. That's cold. that's cold here. It's ice cream. Oh my god. We are headed back to the car. We are halfway through our marathon of the Hunger Games movies and we are hungry so we took a break. We're gonna go get some food. And then we're gonna come back and watch Mocking Jay Part 1. Yeah yeah. Got some more preparation for the games. <laughs> See I already had this in here and a little bit in here. I think there's like two tissues in there. So I bought some more. And I'm probably gonna use all of this. Yeah, I'm gonna use all of this. All right, it is 5:12, and we are on our way to the theater. It doesn't start till seven, but we always get there early because we want a good seat, so we wait in line. So, as usual, I have dressed. First. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I have dressed for the occasion. I don't know why it just gives me so much joy. So I have my usual black and gold. Pearl for PETA, and I have like 50 different arrow jewelry, mocking J pin, braid, of course. Oh, and 451 for squad 451. I'm a little obsessed. Just a bit, but that's okay. Ah! I'm so excited. I, just... uh... I hope we don't see anyone we know because. Probably embarrassing. <laughs> Are you sure you want to go to this with me? Yes. Very sure. Are you sure? 
positive. We are in the theater. We have. Let me look at my countdown. What's the countdown on Fandango app? That's what I did. I was like, okay, that's not perfect. Okay, one hour, one minute to go. Well, it's over. Did I cry? Yeah. yeah. If you haven't seen it, and if you haven't read the books, which is stupid, read the books. Read the books. Idiot. Please, unlike the people behind us, I swear! It's Gail! No, it's Okay, so yeah, spoil, spoiler alert. Okay, so first of all, it was amazing. They did everything right. There was, like, the only thing that was different from the book was when, like, Katniss went off by herself. I didn't understand that. Because, like, she didn't go through training to go on the field. Like, they... She snuck off. I didn't understand that. I don't know why they did that. I don't really care because it still came to the same stuff. There's so many things that I, I loved. I loved how um, <coughs> you could, like, Katniss wasn't really distant from yeah. Peta. Like, I was telling her that. I was like, I was expecting them to kind of make their relationship really strained. But you could tell the whole time that still she loved Peta. And I, I so appreciate that because it's so evident in the books and I was afraid you wouldn't be able to see that on oh, the screen. Oh, you could see that. You could see that. I was like, very crazy. My heart! I, I was pretty obnoxious in this in this movie, but there were other people that were very obnoxious. First of all, one person kept looking at their phone. I didn't even know. Right screen! I was like, no! No! And like, the people behind us obviously had not read the book and so like, the part at um, the end where like um, Katniss comes back from hunting and Peta's planting flowers like you couldn't see who it was and the girl was like it's Gail I'm like let me just turn around and punch you in the face I know that they were laughing at me yeah. because during the the sewer <laughs> part with the mutts I knew that that part was gonna be like scary and like I, I was dreading that part because I pictured something horrific but what they brought to life it was beyond Oh horrific. my, I saw them and I was like, that's so much worse than I pictured it. I literally screamed that. She did. I did. Everyone in that theater <laughs> hated me. <laughs> I, I could not stop screaming because I knew what was going to happen. I knew my favorite character was about to die. And like, I just started, I was like, ah! Ah! like the whole time. It was terrible. And she it, was. It was so, I hate myself. I'm so obnoxious. <laughs> but then I started crying and I was just like, Sobbing, so I don't know what was worse the screaming or the sob. The screaming I couldn't hear you yeah. sobbing, and I was sitting right next to you. You were like, Stop it, stop it. I was like, Shut up. Hey, Fee. <gasps> I wanted that to be a thing. Like, I didn't never in the books want that to be a thing, but no. like the movies, there's so much that Elizabeth oh, Banks gosh. brought to Effie's yes. character that I so appreciate. I, I love it. It's different, but I love it. And I love that the, that Hayfi is canon because I, I wanted it to be a thing. And so like when they were hugging, I was like, no kiss. And then they did it. And I was like, yeah. I do feel like he did that too. <laughs> I didn't do it that loud. I just went, yes, 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 yes. I'm very enthusiastic about this. Annie's letter was perfect. I love that they tied that in because the Finnick Annie storyline is one of my favorite like sub storylines. That is when I started sobbing. Yeah. Like as soon as we were nearing, as soon as they left the capital, I was just like in a constant state of. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad no one can like see me. <laughs> Although at some point I heard the people behind me go, "She's crying." <laughs> yes. That. Yes, I am! Why are you at the freaking 7 o'clock showing if you're not gonna cry? These are for real fans. Go away. But then they were laughing at really inappropriate parts. I like know. during the epilogue, during like the whole, um, I don't think it was during the real or not real. Someone started laughing. I was like, Why? I will cut your heart out with a spoon! She gets very violent. I'm glad they kept the, uh, the Nightlock part in where. And you could, oh, I loved how you could tell. Because there was always, like, speculation in the books whether Katniss was really saying yes to the Hunger Games or whether she was trying to trick Coin. I always thought she was trying to trick Coin because she knew if she didn't agree that Coin would kill her. And they didn't outright say it. There's a cat over there. <laughs> I don't 
You didn't outright say it, but you could tell Jennifer Lawrence. Oh dang gosh. it, you're a good actress. You could just tell in her face that that's what she was thinking, and then yes. the whole she got her her um, nightlock pill ready. I was like, okay, I'm right. She's planning on she planned to shoot point, and then <clears throat> um, Peta stopping her. Super important. I, I'm so glad. The, the, all the details that just give me life that they included. You're on the line. Just people don't know how to park. Oh, Josh Hutcherson. Oh my gosh. Oh. Mm. <sighs> oh the part at the beginning where Prim's talking to him. Uh-huh. And you just see the transition in his face where he's like kind of reasonable and then he switches to like. Yes. Oh, it was so good. And I was like. Like it hurt, it like, and every time he was mean to Katniss, it, I was just like, ooh, because like I hated that he was saying it, but you could also tell that he was a completely different yeah. character, if that makes sense. Probably won't be able to see anything. Um, my thing ran out of memory, so I deleted a bunch like 400 something pictures oh and videos on here. <laughs> Dang it! I don't even remember what I was saying. I'll have to finish my thoughts later. I thought of a thing. I love how the movies have brought so much more to like the more like the minor characters like Effie for one and um okay Cressida oh my gosh I love Cressida like I didn't really I mean I liked her in the book but I was just kind of like eh. I mean I mean I wasn't like eh but I was yeah. just I didn't really care that much but Natalie Dormer is that her name Natalie yeah. Dormer brought so much to her character and like the part in this where like when the like the, all the mutts are there she's just firing down she's like on the ladder she's like Bruh! I'm like she's, she's not even a soldier she, she's a like she films things and she's kicking butt the movie did a very good job considering I've read the book six read this book six six or seven times I don't remember and I was still on the edge of my seat the entire time like they did a very good job because like I knew what was gonna happen but still just the shots the way they shot things and the music and all that was very good and the part where they were in in the sewer and like they had like the light shining and like I was on the edge of my seat because I knew it was coming but I was like he's gonna jump out now he's gonna jump out now and then like it it just went on for so long and then Pollux went like behind the, like, oh. the part with the cat at the end, that's what reminded me of that. The cat at the end where um, Katniss is yelling at um, Buttercup. Like, I read the book, um, Fitness book yesterday again, and I was just thinking, like that part is heart wrenching, but I was like, I cannot wait to see Jennifer Lawrence do this scene because oh. it's gonna be so good and she did not disappoint, no. oh my gosh. Oscar, Oscar. Jennifer Lawrence, thank you so, so, so much. Thank I know you you're not turning down the part. I'll never, like, you're never gonna see this, but I appreciate how well you played Katniss. Like, I could not have picked someone no. better. And I'm just, the whole cast is just perfect. The direct, like, everything is just perfect, and I'm just very emotional, and I'm so happy. I need some ice cream. My heart!